This lesson is about using our rounding skills to estimate the answer to multiplication problems. Our first example is 6 times 37. Now I don't need an exact answer, but I do want to get an estimate. And in order to get an estimate, we're going to use easier numbers than those that are listed there. Do I need to round 6? No. Very good, because it already is a single digit number, so I'm just going to write that down again. Give me an easier number than 37. 40. Very good. So 6 times 40 is a lot easier to multiply mentally than 6 times 37. So if you remember the lesson earlier, in order to multiply this mentally, we just need to multiply the digits that are not 0, and 6 times 4 is? 24. Very good. And then I need to tack on that one zero from the 40. So I'm going to put that 0 there. Now that 240 is not the answer to 6 times 37. It's our estimate of 6 times 37. Now we rounded 37 up to 40. So my estimated answer, is that an underestimate or an overestimate? Overestimate. Right, because we used a number that's larger than the actual number of 37. In this example, we have 28 times 72. Again, I want an estimated answer to that. So I'm going to use easier numbers. Give me an easier number than 28. 30. Very good. I'll use 30. Now, give me an easier number than 72. 70. Excellent. 70. Now, using what we learned before, in this case, all I need to do is multiply the digits that are not 0. And 3 times 7 is? 21, and then I tack on, in this case, two zeros. Two zeros, and then I come in with my comma. So 2,100 is not the actual answer of 28 times 72. It's an estimated answer of 28 times 72. In our last example, we have 12 times 86 times 34. We have three numbers that we're multiplying together. Well, boys and girls, you do it the exact same way. You pick easier numbers to multiply in order to get an estimate. So an easier number than 12 would be? 10. Very good. Easier than 86? 90. 90. Easier than 34? 30. Very good. Our very next step then is to multiply the digits that are not 0. 1 times 9 is? 9. And then 9 times 3 is? 20. So 27 is what I put down there. Now, I need to go back to my problem and see that there are one, two, three zeros that I need to tack on to the end of 27. Then I come in from the right, three places, put my comma, and 27,000 is the answer to 10 times 90 times 30, but it's only the estimated answer of 12 times 86 times 34. You rounded to make the numbers easier to multiply in your head, and you gave me an estimate. And that's how you use your rounding skills to estimate the answer of a multiplication problem.